Hi hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Um, and welcome to my garage. Now, oh, there's a big space in my garage because yes, Num Nuts is finally finished. Um, so next products there are ready to go. Um, and Num Nuts is part on my drive. So this is the walk around video. Um, it'll be a brief description. You probably hear some kids screaming in the background. Next door's kids have just come home from school. Um, so uh, I should have done this earlier. Might have been a bit better. It's an extremely hot day today. Um, wasn't expecting this at all, so a little bit sweaty. Glad about my hair cut. Um, yeah, so I'll take you around there. Let's go and have a look, shall we? So, numb nuts finally finished. Giving it a quick wash down. Uh, yeah, a brief, a brief looking, a brief going over it is, it's a complete bare chassis or a new chassis rebuilt. Um, so everything from from the ground up is completely rebuilt, with the exception of the gearbox. It's the only thing that um, that that hasn't been rebuilt. Um, doors, the doors and door tops are all new all round. The rest of the bodywork, including the tub sides roof front wings front panel bonnet and bulkhead or even the sills on the bottom are all original um the original with it the bulkhead it's always this has all been videoed it's all on my youtube channel the bulkhead has had a couple of minor repairs at the top new footwell both sides um the chassis is a marsland galvanized chassis i believe it to be the heavy duty one um so obviously new wheels and tyres, new brakes all round, including the drums, uh, master cylinder, every single brake pipe on there, new suspension, that's including the springs and shocks, um, all the rubber bushes are brand new, every single one, new exhaust, I just trying to think, prop shafts have been rebuilt. Uh, the, the, the list is pretty much endless really. Um, Original bumper that's been regalvanized. These have not been sprayed. That galvanized the door, the cappings are all galvanized, regalvanized, all the way around. Interior. These are the original tops that have been retrimmed. Um, the bottom is um, as uh, I've remade and retrimmed it to match, so everything matches. The covers for the locks all match. The retrimmed dashboard. It's all the same material, including all these, the head crash bits all the way around. They are all made and covered with the same material. So they all match. We've got leather trim steering wheel, which I think is lovely. Just puts a little bit of extra comfort on there. Full Exmoor trim interior. That's the premium carpet set and the deluxe. Sorry, I don't know if you can see with the light, the sunlight's right at the funny angle. Um, the deluxe Exmoor seats folding seats in the back so it's a seven seater all seats have got seat belts the front two have got the uh, inertia three points every uh, the passenger and the drivers the backs obviously because they're sideways they've only got the lap, lap belts as the as is the middle one gearbox is perfect absolutely perfect brand new clutch um selects all the gears it selects reverse with ease and you see there's no body filler on this at all you can see all the original spot welds. There's absolutely no body filler on this on this vehicle at all. Um, that's why I replaced the doors. The um, the original doors that came with it were savable doors, but they would have need needed a skim of filler to make them right. And I thought I don't want to do it. I don't want to put any body filler in there. Body filler does not because that, the aluminium or the Burma Bright panels are so flexible. It, it, the, the body filler can just can come off uh, so you can you might see the odd little blemish here and there the odd little dent here and there should I say little car park dings nothing major but it is completely original so as you can see we've had a bit of work on these top corners nothing too major you can see it's not nothing too major you can see the original spot welds are still there it was just literally uh, if I remember rightly as a patch like that I'll have to go through the videos and double check it was just literally little patches here and there 
Hi everyone. <laughs> yeah, this side's all pretty much the same. Uh, there's not a lot more to say really. So we'll come back. Rear door card trimmed to match as well. All these folding seats, these have all got uh, inertia reel. Oops. Lap belts. Um, they, they all fold up. Lovely out of the way. Ex motion carpet in the back. Uh, yeah, original headlining, unbelievably. All these vents all still work with a safari roof, very sought after safari roof as well. And everything works, everything even works off the. Um... Let's have a look. I've left the keys in the house now, so. Everything inside works. I haven't wired these two gauges up yet. Um, I'm looking and I might actually change them. You've got a temperature, water temperature gauge on there. Um, so you don't really need one down there. Um, it saves modifying to put a sensor in. Oil pressure, I need to look into that because my oil pressure sensor did not work. So the oil pressure switch, the oil pressure light and everything works on there. It's just that gauge, it came with a specific um, sender and it never worked. So I might look into changing that as well. Um, as I was gonna say, yeah, all this, everything works off the original switches, the fog lights, headlights, wipers, the wash wipe, horn, even, even the interior light works off the uh, switch. Uh, yeah, what can I say? It's, it's, it's a lovely, lovely truck. I'd be proud to be driving around in this. Um, a genuine county station wagon one important thing to remember this is a one owner car um although it does state two on the logbook it is actually a one owner car so i'll explain to that, that why in a minute right let me just pause you there and i'll um i'll get the bonnet up right the two and a quarter diesel lump completely rebuilt um it does now need a bit of a clean down a bit of a wash um maybe even touch up a paint here and there uh, but yeah, completely rebuilt um, everything basically, stripped down to a bare block. Um, but like I said, original bulkhead, everything, uh, everything that, that couldn't be refurbed has been replaced with new. Um, so everything else is pretty much original. But things like, like the brake master cylinder, that obviously that's new. Um, the clutch master cylinder is new. All the pipe works new. Um, although it looks new, that is the original heater matrix. The heat blower still down there. Even got the expansion to the uh, vacuum tank. Sorry for the brake servo. New radiator, new battery. Um, everything really. There's not a lot else I can say other than it's just completely rebuilt. It starts and drives, runs as it should, as it came out of the factory. Um, it's got the headlight up, it's got head, headlight upgrade, so you've got a couple of relays down there, so that gives you better headlights, um, which, uh, that's an old series Land Rover, they're, they're not the best anyway, are they? Uh, yeah, a few little touches like the original, well, a re reproduction, should I say, stickers and tags and bits. Uh, yeah, right, what I'll do now is get paint in the garage, let's have a chat. Yeah guys, that's it. Um, Land Rover's finished. Uh, well, if I say finished, it's almost finished. It's Tuesday or Wednesday today. It's in for MOT on Friday. I don't see why it would pass. Everything underneath it is brand spanking new. Um, like I said, the only thing on there that hasn't been rebuilt is the um, gearbox. Everything else has been completely rebuilt. Um, and the reason why I didn't build the, uh, re have the gearbox, the reason I didn't have the gearbox rebuilt is because I knew it was a good box, um, or I should say I was I was fully assured it was a good box, and it is. It selects gears um, perfectly. Although me used to driving my van around, um, yeah, kept getting fourth instead of second. It goes in a second perfect. It's just uh, just yeah, I just kept missing it. Um, it is absolutely blistering hot in here. This is not blowing heat. This is blow, blowing a smidging bit of cold air. Um, I've got a big fan that I normally have on, but uh, I've given up on summer and I've packed it away. So I've just gonna got this out. Uh, so I apologise if you've got a buzzing noise. Let's turn that off. Um, 
yeah so obviously if you're interested it is up for sale um i've been oohing and ahhing a lot over the price um because you would struggle to uh to, to buy a land rover and get it restored to that standard for less than 25 grand you you, you it just wouldn't happen um you think the amount of work that's gone into that uh so I think that's where that's where it's at. That's where the price is at. This was I spoke to a lot of Land Rover enthusiasts uh, and Land Rover pe people that do the same job as me, and they've all suggested don't let it don't don't advertise it for less than twenty five. So uh, so yeah, twenty four nine nine five five or less. Well, twenty five grand there. Uh, but yeah, I think you would struggle to buy a decent base Land Rover um, and get it restored, pay somebody to restore it to that standard. Um, when you're restoring cars, time's money at the end of the day. Um, yeah, and it's a genuine one owner from you, county station wagon. Um, although it does say two owners on the log book. Um, what it was, the story was um, the guy that, that, that owned it, he had brought it, he'd owned it from brand new, but he, he'd had it registered on his farm. Um, so then, quite a few years later, he sold his farm, kept the Land Rover, and then he had to have it registered into his name, so then it comes up as two owners, but it's basically just one owner from Neil. Um, 1983, 1984, I can't remember which one it is now. Um, yeah, and it's just a lovely truck. It's a really lovely truck. Um, Marsland galvanised, I believe it's a heavy duty chassis, so it's a, a, like a three millimetre fixed steel chassis. Um, absolutely, totally rust free. Absolutely, totally rust free. And as original as I could keep it, bodywork wise, there is no body filler on that truck at all. Um, like I said, the tub, I've replaced the back panels on the tub because they always go where they bolt to the rear cross member. Um, and yeah, well, you can you can see for yourself if you go through my videos, if you, if you have a look on my Instagram, CSM um, Retro Restorations, uh, it's documented on there the pictures of all the stuff, different stages. That how I got it because it was completely stripped when I originally got it. Um, there are countless videos on YouTube fully documenting everything. I've got hundreds, if not thousands, of pictures of, of everything. Um, oh, another thing I didn't mention is wiring loom. Uh, I've, I've done videos on that. Um, mostly, apart from the bit behind the dash, behind the, um, behind the clocks, it's a new wiring loom as well. Um, yeah, as, as yeah. I think it's worth every penny of that. I've seen a lot worse going for a lot more. So, yeah. I just want to say thanks as well to um, to everybody that's helped me out. Everybody that's um, that's helped me out in, in whatever way, whether it's um, wisdom, knowledge, um, actually physically helping, or just words of encouragement. You know what I mean? So thanks to everybody and, and everybody that's subscribed to the channel and likes. Um, likes anything or anybody in the comments. Yeah, thanks to you all, much appreciated. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it really. I will, uh, I will do a post on Instagram, and I will tag, try and tag as many companies as I can think of that have been in it. I know there's a few that, that aren't on Instagram, like um, specialist component services at Redford who do the fuel pumps and injectors and things. Um, high tensile bolts in works off their. Um, supply me with lots and lots of bolts and stuff like that and a few small companies around like that um yeah to, to be honest it, it cost me a hell of a lot more if it went for these companies so uh yeah thanks everybody for watching don't forget to like subscribe there will be a lot more videos this is the next project in the lineup currently but things might change i am in negotiations for a unit for a workshop um that's all i'm going to say on that because i don't want to jinx myself um but we'll see how that goes um fingers crossed everything works out but currently that is the next project lineup um i've also got to if i could i don't think you'll be able to see out there you can see the back end of the t25 out there i've got to pull the engine out of that the engine runs all right but it's pissing oil out between the gearbox and the um uh engine i think whoever's put that engine in there has done a bit of a cowboy job so i need to pull that out but yeah, that's all for later videos. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you all soon. Take care. Look after yourselves. Bye-bye.